in this video we're gonna write code in Excel VBA that allows us to look at a folder and loop through every single file in that folder and then any files that are in any subfolders in that folder and bring every single one of the file names from that main folder and subfolders into our spreadsheet so you can see here I have a main folder path the folder is called 2021 and then I have some individual files in that folder as well as subfolders and the subfolders each contain a file for each month in the quarter this first subfolder has an additional subfolder called notes that contains a file called test and we want to bring every single one of these files into our spreadsheet. So the first thing I want to do is hit the keyboard shortcut Alt F11 to go into the VBA editor window. Anywhere in this project window, I'm going to right click, go to insert, and then module. Now before we begin writing our code, we need to go up to tools and references. You need to make sure this Microsoft scripting runtime box is checked. If it's not checked, you won't see it up here. Probably you'll have to scroll down until you get to Microsoft and the S's. What this box does is it opens up some additional methods and properties that will make the coding a lot easier. So how we're going to set this up is we're going to actually write two subroutines. The first subroutine will contain pretty much all of our code, the action we want to perform, looping through the files and the subfolders. It'll have a parameter called path. And the second subroutine will really, all it will do is just call the first subroutine and will provide the path in that second subroutine. So since we have two subroutines, the first thing we want to do is declare a private variable called FSO for file system object and it's going to be as the data type new and then scripting and then file system object. So our first subroutine will call run through files and we're going to actually pass a parameter to it. We'll call this parameter path it's going to be as the data type string. So we're going to declare some variables. First variable we'll just call FLDR for folder. It's going to be as the data type scripting and folder. This is going to represent our main folder, the 2021 folder, our starting point. We're going to have a, another variable, and we'll call this S folder, and this represents each of the subfolders in our main folder. Then we have a variable called FIL for file, and it's going to be as the data type scripting and file and that represents each file within our main folder and any of our subfolders. So now we need to set our main folder variable. So we use the keyword set because it's an object variable and that is going to be equal to FSO and then get folder. And it has one input, which is the path as a string. And that is going to be our path parameter that we defined up here. So now the first thing we want to do is loop through each of the files in our main folder. So that would be these three files here. So we want to do a for each loop and reference our file variable and we want
like for each file in our main folder variable and we want to reference files because we want to perform a for each loop for each file in our collection of all the files in that folder. So now what we want to do on our active sheet is dynamically start placing those file names beginning in cell A2. So we're going to reference our column and then use a AND symbol to join it to something that dynamically gets us to the first blank row in column A. So I'm going to reference rows and then count. So what this does is it counts every single row on our spreadsheet all the way down to the very last row. So right now our range is A and the very last cell at the bottom of our spreadsheet. So from there we want to end XL up that will take us to the last row in column A that contains values. Right now that's cell A1. So this brings us to cell A1. But we want the row below it. So we're going to offset. And the offset begins with the number of rows we want to offset. Well, we just want to offset one. The second argument is the number of columns we want to offset. Well, we're, we're in the column we want to be on, so we don't want to offset any columns, so we put a value of 0 there. So we want this cell to be equal to whatever file we're on in our loop, and then the name of that file. And then we're going to go to our next file, and this loop will continue on until we go through each file in the collection of files in our main folder. So now we want to do kind of a similar thing but with our subfolders. So we're going to add a for each loop, if I can type, for each subfolder in our main folder and then instead of files we're going to reference our collection of subfolders. Just going to go ahead and add the bottom here so it's next subfolder and here is where things are going to be a little different and this is hard to believe but what we're actually going to do here is reference the subroutine we're in run through files which has one input or parameter the path for the path we're actually going to reference our subfolder variable and the path. So this will actually perform everything we've written thus far based on the path of whatever subfolder we're currently in in our loop. So what does this run through files do? Well, it gets all of the file names and puts them on our spreadsheet. It's, it's as simple as that. So now we're done with our first subroutine and now we just need to create our second which is going to be pretty simple. We just want to call this first subroutine run through files and provide it a main path as our beginning point. So we have sub and we'll call this get files and we're going to reference our first subroutine and input a path parameter as our starting point. So that is going to be the main folder where we want to begin our search. So that's a string so it needs to be in double quotes. So I'm going to input that there and now we're ready to run this and we want to run the second subroutine so make sure that's the active one. So when I click run 
we should see all of the files in both our main folder and subfolders get added in column A of our spreadsheet. And there it is. You can see we have the main files here as the start and then we go to our first subfolder. We have our three monthly files there and then the subfolder of that subfolder and it brings in the file that's there and then all of our other subfolders for the other three quarters.